In this chapter we will begin with fixing the weights for the most simple part, the boots. And again I start with making my life easy, and first set up Blender for the task. So, select the boots. Then, in the Bone Display Style section, enable Skinning Mode, this will preset all major parameters to a convenient configuration. Also let's ensure that the bone shape is set to, stick. This helps us to keep control over what happens. You also want to set the viewport shading to, solid. This makes it easier to see the weight colors. Now let's go into side view, and check in more detail what is wrong with the heels. Select the ankle bone, and rotate it to an extreme value. Can you see how the heel is shrinking? The reason for this is hidden deep inside the bone weight algorithm. Blender can actually fix the shrinking automatically, but unfortunately Second Life cannot, so we need to do something here. Let's check which bones influence the heel. Yep, we see weights from the ankle bone and from the knee bone. But this is wrong. The heel should be only depending on the ankle bone. Let's make some more preparations in the tool shelf. First, get rid of the origin bone, it gets into our way. Then, select the tools vertical tab, and move the weight tools panel to the top. We will use this panel frequently in this section. Now enter edit mode. In the modifier stack, set the armature modifier to display in edit mode. This change lets us directly view how the mesh gets affected when we later change the bone weights. Then look up the weight tools again in the tool shelf. And once more move the section up to the top. Finally open the properties sidebar. Then in the Mesh Display panel, enable the Show Weights option. And last but not least take care that you are in Face Select mode. Now select the heel and the back part of the shoe sole. We will now take care that the currently selected part of the mesh is only weighted to the ankle bone. Now in the Data Properties section, ensure that the correct ankle bone vertex group is selected. And then assign a weight value of 1 to all selected vertices. You see that it worked, when the heel turns red. Now we still have to remove the weights from the knee bone. Select the knee bone vertex group and remove the selected verts from the group. Now the heel should turn blue, and the lower part of the shoe got back its correct shape. However, a close inspection shows us, that now some of the faces drop too deep into the foot. Fortunately this is only a small issue, and we can fix this very quickly as follows. Go to Edge Select Mode. Select the edges near the deformed part of the foot. Take care that you have selected the ankle vertex group. And then enable the Levels tool in the tool shelf. Oops! Did you see what happened? Suddenly the right foot gets weighted as well. What happened here? Blender is broken again, panic raises. But hold on, here is what happens. The weight tools support mirror operations. So let's check if the mirror option has been activated. So, open the options vertical tab. Ah there it is. X mirror has been enabled. We need to disable this. And now press Ctrl Z twice, until the color on the right foot is gone. Then select the Levels tool again. And step down to the Operator panel in the tool shelf. 
There, you can change the settings of the levels operator. Move the offset slider until the mesh looks appropriate. Well, OK. Now we have set these vertices to a weight of 1.0, but this part of the boot still does not look appropriate. This is because it still has weights on the knee bone. So we have to select the knee bone weight group and fix the weights there as well. But here is a nasty pitfall, whenever you change your selection, the operator panel of the weight tool does not take your changes into account. This happens only when you select the tool again, after you change the selections. OK, select the knee vertex group. Then select the weight tool again and then change the values in the operator panel. The same is true when you want to change the selection of edges or vertices. After changing the selection, select the weight tool again, then change the operator values. Again, change the selection. Select the tool, Tweak the values. When you are satisfied with your results, then it is time to move the just created weights over to the other boot. So, in the next chapter we will talk about copy weights between bones. Until then, Please take your time and inspect the other weight tools in the weight tools panel as well. And see how much sense you can make out of them. Have a nice day and hopefully see you next time.